Hey guys, Todd Huey here with Lone Star Bores, and today we're going to talk about the Franklin Armory Binary Trigger. Now I met with Franklin Armory and I picked this trigger up back at SHOT Show. I've been playing with it for a little bit now and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. First of all, this is my LWRC M6 IC Enhanced. It's a 5.56. I put it in this rifle because as you know, I like the 6.8, I like the 308 for hunting hogs. I think the 5.56 a little bit on the weekend for hunting hogs. Of course, with good shot placement, with good bullets, uh, Barnes sent me uh, some of their TSX bullets that I'm going to try in the 5.56 on hogs. I know it works great on coyotes and it works okay on hogs, but there are much better choices out there. With this binary trigger, when you put it in binary mode, it fires once with the pull the trigger and once with the release. So I can double tap them really quick and I think um, that's gonna come in handy if, if with using the 5.56. Five, okay, we have it. We're just gonna start right off with a mag dump. So you have safe, like a normal AR, semi, and then where full auto would normally be is what they call binary mode. We're gonna shoot a couple of these RSR steel targets down here. Malfunction. You can fire faster than the gun can cycle. That was a full 30 round magazine right there. Okay guys, we just dumped the mag. The, we had one malfunction. That was for me shooting too fast. This, this trigger will actually fire faster than the rifle can cycle. I'm pulling the trigger before the bolt's already closed and the hammer's following the bolt back up and not firing. So I really have to think and, and control the speed. I mean, cause it will shoot too fast. I have to really slow myself down and practice with it. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention in the opening is uh, all my LWRCs have the Geisley triggers in them. Very nice, very awesome trigger. I've been spoiled by them. Um, this is no Geisley trigger. I mean, if you've been using them, you're gonna feel. If you like to use the sear reset like I do, um, it, it's not gonna be the same. But again, it does something totally different that the, the other triggers do not. I mean, as you saw, that was a 30 round mag that quick. What I'm gonna try to do here is is I've loaded up a couple of mags with two and three rounds. I'm going to try to do some magazine chains and replicate the problem that I saw my major beef with this trigger system is when you do a magazine change and you're still in binary mode, when you run out of ammo, you run dry, it will not fire sometimes unless you go all the way back to safe or semi-auto mode. So here we go. It's already in binary mode, let's see if it'll fire. It fired. That was two rounds. Three rounds in this magazine. That was three rounds. Two rounds. It fired. It did not do the binary mode there. It only fired once there for one reason, but it did fire. So um, load up some more mags here. We're gonna try this again. See if we can get it to malfunction. Okay guys, here we go again. I've got several mags loaded up. I have a mixture of K Industry aluminum mags. I have some hex mags. I have some P mags. All of them are loaded with three rounds. I'm going to try to, to replicate that problem that I had uh, where it would not fire. So far, I've not been able to re replicate it, which is a good thing. Here we go. Fast three rounds. See, it's not firing when I pull the trigger. There it is. Now watch, it'll fire when I let go. See? So it fires. Let's see if it'll do it again. That time it fires. Do this one fast, see if it makes a difference. It did not fire when I pulled, it fired on release. So, I mean, it's still fast, 
But just know when you squeeze the trigger, it does not always fire. It is firing on release. Fired that time. So, what was that, three, four times that it didn't, didn't work? Again, great, great trigger, a lot of fun. You see how fast it is. I mean, you can really, you can really lay down some, some lead with this thing. I can't wait to, to light up a hog. I just want you to know there are a couple issues. You can fire it too fast. Franklin Army tells me that if you bore out your uh, gas block a little bit, you won't have those issues. I am shooting on, um, with a suppressor in, um, actually it's in suppressed mode. I've tried it in unsuppressed mode, trying to get as much gas in there. I'm still able to, to, to make it malfunction. If you think about it and you practice with a lot, you can get really fast and really good without doing it, but you can easily get carried away. So if you get excited, you start squeezing that trigger, it's going to cause problems. If you like the sear reset, it's gonna, the sear reset in semi-automotive is okay. It is definitely not a ghastly trigger, but it is okay. In binary mode, of course there is no sear reset. Your sear reset fires for you. So it is pretty awesome. Love the trigger. Um, I highly recommend it, if nothing else, just to get out there and um, blast away. I have never switched out a trigger. This is my first trigger to switch out. There are some shims that I had to use, but I took it out. I was done in 15, 20 minutes and no problems. Everything worked great. So it was an easy switch for me. So I hope you liked the video. Please comment below, ask any questions. If you have not, like our channel and please subscribe.